All right, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to set your game ranger like a pro. So we are playing but from the uh, series with game ranger most likely. And most of us uh, just uh, let it be as it is. We just download the game ranger, create an account and uh, press the game ranger icon, icon that we got on our desktops. And this stuff pop out already. This is how, how it looks like by the default and it's completely unreadable. As you can see I'm using uh, the bronze account that most of the players used so you will not get confused. And uh, first thing that I'm doing uh, with Game Ranger if I for example reformat my PC and just uh, get back to the Game Ranger and I got everything set up as default, like most of the players all the time. I make some changes to the game ranger itself, so it looks uh, smoother and better for myself. So let's get into it. As you saw, mm, there are the pop-outs that some players that are not in my friends list uh, create some rooms and it pissed off all the time, as you can hear, and there is a sound. So to avoid it, you just click um, right click on game ranger notification and uh, notification notify me when the game rooms are opened and you just press the friends game rooms only so if you doesn't have for example like me at the moment any friends non single pop-outs will appear and if you will get uh, some friends in your friends list uh, then only those friends will be visible when they create their account it's very useful because for example you got all the list over here done and uh, you don't want to hear about any other players that are not on your friend list that you're most likely are not going to play anyway. Next thing that is pissing people off is the ping over here. At least it pissed me off because uh, to be honest it uh, there is a green bar and a gray bar for example and this is shows you absolutely nothing. Pink is a number and it's not a bar. It's only graphic uh, graph that um, replaced the pink value with the graph and it's not readable. So what you're gonna do is to go for your options and over here you can even change sounds but uh, for it later. Let's go to others and uh, what you gotta do is to hmm, where is it? I miss a spot remove friends Confirm, confirm. Where is it actually? Oh, over here. Uh, I guess. No nickname. Leave, join. Yes, a game ping over here. It took a while. Uh, show graphic game ping. You just would to unclick this, uncheck this box, and you will see the ping that it's most viable. If you get down, it's like over 200 pink and most likely you wouldn't like to join those games. Next thing that you would like to do is to set your connection that uh, the amount of uh, megabytes per second that uh, Game Ranger will be forced to use. So you're going over here to network and as, as you can see there are only uh, 500 kilobytes uh, by key and cable used by the game ranger so you'd like to set it to 2 megabytes per second if it's possible for you it's not that much in current time to be honest and uh, just disclick this so the game ranger now will works with 2 megabytes per second not uh, those little bit kilobytes that you get set by default other thing that you may uh, would like to set uh, are those fonts I'm not doing it, but I just will show you, and you can change even colors. 
if you wish to so for example for example you would like to change fonts uh, for time to times new roman and increase it uh, size to 10 for example so it's more visible to you for example you would like to for example play without sounds you can just click uh, play sounds and that's it you can as well change the sounds but I never did it never actually work with it I just leave it as it is and you can go with voices uh, if you got microphone or stuff like that or even enable voices if you would like to so yeah I hope this tutorial will be useful and more, more of you will know how to set up your Game Ranger account Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.